Today, we're talking about Undeadit, the most awesome online tracking software that you can use to manage all of your debts in one location. It's free, guys. So stick around and let me explain it to you. Hey guys, I'm Wendy Valencia, and if you're new to my channel, please click that subscribe button to see awesome tutorials and us walking through our debt-free process. So today we are doing an undebted tutorial. It puts all of your debt in one location and allows you to keep track of the total in one easy little step. And best of all, it's free. So let me go ahead and walk you through the process of setting up an account. But before I do that, down in the description box below, if you are looking for a specific aspect to this tutorial, like you want to change your debt payment amount or you want to add a one-time payment, down in the description box, I'm actually going to have links to those portions of the video so you can actually skip ahead. But let's start with setting up an account. So we're going to talk about logging on and creating the account. So here is the homepage of Undeadit. And now you can do this without creating an account. But if you're going to use the program, I do highly recommend that you go ahead and create an account because it will actually save your data. You're going to quickly scroll to the bottom of the Undeadit homepage click the sign up now it's free enter your email address and create a password your name and then you're going to enter your total monthly budget the total monthly budget can be one of two things it depends on how knowledgeable you are of your own debt overall picture and how much you budget your total monthly budget can be for example the total of your minimum payments for all of your debts. So if you have five credit cards and each credit card you pay 500 a month on, then your total debt payment can be $2,500. Or it can actually be the actual amount every month that you put towards Snowball. Now, obviously that is more geared toward people who are salaried, who have a pretty fixed budget. And so in this case, I entered $2,500. Now we're going to talk about adding your debts. This is the first and the only time because you have created an account. You're going to add your debt nickname and call it whatever you want. Whatever kind of debt it is. Is it a credit card? Is it a bank loan? The current balance, the highest beginning balance, the minimum payment, the credit limit, the interest rate, and the next due date. Now some of these are really important and some of them are not. The current balance should be exact as of this very day, as well as knowing the exact due date. And the reason is, is because it's going to compound interest for you. And it may be a dollar or two off, but it's generally pretty close as long as you get the current balance exact and the next due date exact. And obviously the interest rate and your minimum. The beginning balance or the highest balance is only important if you want to know what percentage you've paid off of your total debt and then you save it and then you go ahead and go through and add each individual account until you're done now I should let you know that these are not first of all the email address you saw in the beginning is not my email address I don't know if it's an actual email address or not so do not email me there because that is not my email address second of all these are not my debts at all I made these up for the purpose of this tutorial and this isn't my actual undebted account, obviously. So now we're going to go through the various categories. You see the categories down the left-hand side. And then across the top, you see how many active debts you have, monthly budget, your minimum payments, how much your extra you're putting toward the snowball, your total payments made, and your overall progress. It is also important to note up at the top on the right-hand side, you will see your debt-free date and your current balance. Now, those numbers will change as you change numbers throughout this program. So if you need to edit your debt information, you go ahead and click on your master account list. And then from there, you are able to look at each one of your debts individually and look at them as a whole. And you can also export them if you want, but you don't need to. From each one of these, you can go in and individually change things. 
For example, if you put in the wrong date that payments are made, you can change it, whatever you want to do. And then you can just click on the left-hand side on the debt that you want, and it'll open it right up. Pretty simple. And you notice as you change things and save them, it actually changes your overall progress, changes your debt-free date even. Now we're going to go to my account, which is where you edit your budget and payment. Over on the left-hand side, you can see this is exactly where you can change your total budget. So if you screw up in the beginning and put the wrong number in, that's okay. You can change it right here. And did you notice how when we changed it from 2500 down to 645 that the debt-free date in uh, the upper right-hand quarter changed? So now let's look at the different payoff plans. We're going to go to compare methods. So here you can see all the different types of methods there are to pay off your debt. The one most of you will be familiar with is the debt snowball, where you pay smallest to largest, regardless of interest. The debt avalanche is where you pay the highest interest rates off. Then you have the debt ratio, which is a combination of the avalanche and the snowball. Then you have the custom plan, which is controlled by the order of payoff. So in my particular situation, the first payoff date would be actually my largest debt. And then you have highest monthly payment, which is where you pay off the highest monthly payment first, thus freeing up more money faster. The next one is highest credit utilization first. The next one is highest monthly interest paid. And then the last one is if you just make your minimum payments and you're not making any snowball at all. Now you'll notice for the vast majority of these, the payment is similar. That is not always the case. In this particular scenario, because of the types of debts I put in, the payment dates are fairly similar with the exception of no snowball. In my particular scenario, there are a couple of years difference between some of the different methods. So you can do it any way you want. The goal is to pay off debt. Make a plan and stick to it. We personally are now following the snowball. In the beginning, we were not because we thought we might have to move and we needed to free up some money. So we were paying our largest debt first because it freed up the most money when it was paid off. We are not moving, so we switched back to the debt snowball because that works best for us. And if you go in and change your monthly budget, you can see how much changing your monthly budget actually affects the different payoff dates. Now see, we lost some time by upping our monthly budget. So now let's talk about snowflake payments. So what is a snowflake? Well, because the terms debt snowball and debt avalanche are so common, this software has created a snowflake. And basically what it is, is it's a one-time payment that never happens again that you want to add to it. Let's say you get a bonus at work or you have an awesome side hustle for one day where you make 50 bucks or 100 bucks and you want to put that in and see how it changes your overall payoff. This is where you do that. So let's talk about adding Snowflake. From there, you're going to go to additional payments and you are going to scroll down and look at add new Snowflake. And you should note that you can add negative snowflakes, like taking away a snowflake, if you're not, for example, going to be able to contribute your full monthly budget for some reason because you need some of that money for a one-time thing. So what if you get a raise or maybe you have a new side hustle that's going to come in every month? One of the things that you're going to want to do is automatically add that into your total budget. If you know you're going to get $1,000 extra at least a month, go ahead and add that because... Seeing that new number in your debt-free date is going to be so exciting to you. So now let's talk about the debt snowball table. This is basically kind of like an Excel spreadsheet that will tell you exactly how much money you're going to be paying to each debt every month until you're debt-free. So you'll notice in our particular scenario, in March, we are going to be paying off our visa. February, we pay off our MasterCard. Then in April, we'll be making our last payment to our Capital One loan. 
And every time we make a payment, the snowball keeps rolling. And so 3000 is when we're maxing out our budget payments until the last payment of 5023. And then it projects us paying off our last debt in March 2019. Now, one of the things that you really need to look at, and this is the easiest way to see how much adding side hustle money will affect your payoff date. So up here at the top, you will see $3,000. That's our current monthly budget. And in this spot, you are able to add money or take away money and look at how it affects your overall snowball. So let's go ahead and put 5,000 in there and hit apply. And notice we went from March, 2019 to May, 2018. Oh, I wish I were gonna be debt free in May, 2018. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about is putting in your payments. This is very important. Unless you are willing to pay for the service to link your bank accounts, you will need to hand enter your payments. And I'm going to go ahead and walk you through that process. You're going to click on the link in the upper left hand corner called dashboard. On the bottom, you're going to see the debt account payment manager. And there are two ways to make payments. You can click the red quick pay button which will automatically pay your minimum payment, or you can actually go in and fill in the payment amount. So thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget, down below, I will put the link to Undebt it. It'll take you right there. You can create your account. I highly, highly recommend it. This was the software that made me realize that my math was way off and we were going to be paying about $30,000 more to get out of debt than I had originally planned. Interest. It gets you every time. So don't forget to click the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click on the big laughing face to subscribe to my channel. And I'm putting two videos that you can click on to keep on watching next to me. So go ahead and keep on watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.